Another review, solving simultaneous equations, quadratics, and linears. So, if we've got two equations, y equals negative 2x plus 4, which is a straight line, and y equals x squared minus 8x plus 12, which is a quadratic, we can find out where they meet, or if they meet, um, using simultaneous equations. So, if y is equal to this, and y is equal to this, then this must be equal to this. It's uh, simultaneous equations using substitution. So, negative 2x plus 4 equals x squared minus 8x plus 12. If we move everything to one side, we're going to have 0 equals x squared minus 8x. Negative 2x over here becomes plus 2x. And positive 12, positive 4 over here becomes minus 4. Simplifying, we'll get 8x minus 8x plus 2x is minus 6x. And 12 minus 4 is positive 8 is equal to 0. Now, you can solve that using the null factor law, maybe. You could solve it by completing the square if you really want to, or you can solve it using uh, the quadratic formula, which I know will always work. Uh, I'm going to do it. All right, so I've subbed them in. I've come up with x equals 2 or x equals 4. Some of you will be tempted to stop. But remember, when you're solving simultaneous equations, you're finding the points at which they meet. 2 is not a point. It's just a number. For that, we need our y coordinates. So we need to sub 2 back into one of these equations. This is going to be the easier one. And we need to sub 4 back into that equation. So subbing 2, we get y equals negative 2 times 2 plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So one of the points, one of the answers, is um, 2, 0. And if I sub in point sub it x equals 4, I get y equals negative 2 times 4 plus 4, and negative 8 plus 4, which is negative 4. So the second answer is 4, negative 4. Now, what that means for us is that there's probably some sort of quadratic uh, that looks something like, I don't know, like that, and y equals negative 2x plus 4. Uh, yeah, it said it passes through point two zero, so it's going to pass through there, and it's going to pass through four negative four, which is probably like over here somewhere. Okay, and you can see this meeting at uh, two points. The very last thing I'm going to say about solving simultaneous equations when you've got a quadratic and a linear is you might get two answers. You might get one answer. One answer happens when the line comes down and only just touches at a single point, it's called a tangent. That's one answer. But you might also get zero answers. Now what determines whether you get two answers, one answer, or zero answers? The discriminant. If you get to this stage and you put it into here and the discriminant is positive, you're going to get two answers. That's what I got here. If you put it in here, and the discriminant is equal to zero, this bit under the square root is equal to zero, you're only going to get one answer. And if the discriminant is equal to uh, a negative number, then you're going to get no answers. Okay, that is solving simultaneous equations using quadratics and linears.